Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hello, welcome to the show today. As we answer a question we get quite often, what is a title loan? But before we get to the answer to that question, a quick word from our sponsor. A credit union that offers Bitcoin? Give me five. <laughs> For a limited time only, get $5 of free Bitcoin through the Southland Credit Union app. Enrollment is quick and easy. There's no hidden fees, and you can conveniently fund Bitcoin purchases directly from a Southland account. Claim your free Bitcoin today by going to thecollegeinvestor.com slash Southland. Bitcoin accounts and services provided by NIDIG, not NCUA insured. Restrictions apply to Bitcoin bonus. See terms. And don't forget to check out thecollegeinvestor.com slash Southland to sign up. Okie dokie. So the basic cost of living can easily eat up most of your paycheck. Gas, groceries, childcare, rent is increasing faster than wages, and in a single emergency can lead to more month than money. If you don't have an emergency fund to fall back on, you're left figuring out how to cover the gap. Ugh. Fast cash options like title loans may look like a good option. They give you a month to get your finances in order before the loan needs to be repaid. So what's the problem? Well, most people don't take on title loans for a single month. It's easy to get caught in the high-interest title loan trap, but there are options for title loan borrowers. First of all, what's a title loan? Single payment title loans, usually called title loans, are short-term high-interest debts that are secured by your car. A typical title loan has to be repaid in 30 days, and the interest rate can be as high as the triple digits. Huh? <laughs> you can't take out a title loan at your local bank or credit union either. Non-depository lenders issue title loans. These are the same types of lenders that issue payday loans too. Title lenders typically aren't too concerned about whether you're a great credit risk. The companies look at the value of your car, and they use its value to decide how much you can borrow. You have to own your car free and clear, though, to take out a title loan. But as soon as you take out the loan, the lender has a lien against your car. While you can drive your car during the borrowing period, the lender has the authority to repossess your vehicle if you fail to make timely payments on the loan. What a racket! While a title loan is designed as a single payment loan, few people manage to repay the loan in 30 days. If you end up taking out a title loan, you might struggle to repay it for months before finally getting rid of that stupid debt. Here are the unique dangers of title loans. So title loans are actually uniquely risky because they put your car at risk. Most Americans depend on their car to get to work, obviously, to earn money shuttle their kids to and from school or childcare, and complete necessary errands like visiting the doctor or buying groceries. So if you need your car, then avoiding title loans takes on extreme importance. These are some of the unique ways that title loans can wreak havoc on your life. There's a high likelihood of having your car repossessed. Title loans have high interest rates, remember, up to triple digits that border on predatory and the loans are secured by your car. If you fail to pay the loan, your car will be repossessed. According to a 2016 study from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, more than one out of five title loan borrowers had their cars repossessed, over 20%. Without a car, your daily life is likely to become very difficult. The loan isn't short-term. Like payday loans, another form of predatory debt, Title loans are supposed to be paid in a single payment. Unfortunately, most people who take out title loans can't repay them in a single payment. More than half of borrowers end up rolling their loans over for four months or more. Triple digit interest rates. A CFPB study showed the median interest rate on a title loan. I, it's hard for me to say this. <laughs> 317% APR. 
Of course, the real interest rates aren't always clearly disclosed since the rate is often expressed in terms of dollars per $100 borrowed. The usurious rates can keep you from doing anything other than paying off debt. It is a trap in every sense of the word. Now, what if you already have a title loan? What can you do about it? The interest rate on a title loan may feel very overwhelming, but you may be able to find a way through that debt. So here are some of the top options to consider if you already have a title loan and you're struggling to pay it off. First, connect with a credit counselor. Credit counselors certified by the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, NFCC, offer free, customized debt payoff plans. NFCC counselors often offer debt management plans which consolidate debts at modest interest rates. Title loans are not eligible for debt management plans, but an NFCC counselor may offer strategies for you to repay your title loan while managing other debts. Sell other goods to pay off the debt. If you have any high-ticket items, memorabilia, musical equipment, sports equipment, high-end shoes or bags maybe, try to sell those for some additional cash. Any money that you can scrape together can help you get out from that crushing interest rate of the title loan. Earn extra income. If you've taken out a title loan, you may be a bit insulted by the suggestion to earn extra income. I know. Nonetheless, strategically hustling to earn extra cash is the best way to get out of the debt fast. Donating plasma, driving for Uber, taking on overtime, when you can, are among the more than 50 ideas we have for making money fast. You can find that list at thecollegeinvestor.com. I know it's not easy to hustle, but it can be a key to getting your life back on track financially. Look for nonprofit lenders. Nonprofit lenders are actually charitable organizations that have financial programs that can help people trapped in high interest debts. For example, Exodus Lending, based out of Minnesota, offers 0% loans to Minnesotans with title and payday loans who have the means to repay the loan over a year. Cut expenses by asking for help. Okay, so friends and family may not have the money to spare, but they might allow you to move in for a few months so you can drop your rent payment and get your title loan paid off. They may be able to connect you to work opportunities or even feed you a few meals to help you cut your grocery expenses. I know swallowing your pride can be difficult, but asking for help, even non-financial help, can help you make progress. Find a lower-cost, unsecured debt. We typically don't recommend paying debt, reshuffling games, before you've addressed financial behaviors, but title loans are an exception to this rule. A title loan puts your car at risk of repossession. If your car is repossessed, you may be unable to earn income and complete important daily tasks. Finding any type of unsecured debt to pay off a title loan is a huge win. Even a high-cost cash advance tends to be a better option than a title loan. And then last option, talk with a bankruptcy lawyer. Okay, so the American Bar's Legal Aid provides free and low-cost legal help for low-income families. If you're stuck in a cycle of seemingly never-ending debt, bankruptcy might be a good option for you. Final thoughts on title loans. Title loan debt isn't the type of debt you wander into by buying concert tickets, tools, and t-shirts. It's a form of desperation debt. But the debt that helped you out of one terrible financial situation can quickly become a financial mess of its own. To return to financial health, you'll want to address the loan now. Then you can work towards a better future by improving your credit score, earning more money, and building an emergency fund. With a strong foundation in place, you'll be better able to weather future financial emergencies without a predatory title loan. Okay, I know that was kind of dire, but <laughs> we just want to warn you about these things because the ads make it seem like it's a big savior in your life, but it's not. Title loans run for the hills. Thanks so much for stopping by and joining us today. And if you think this could be helpful to a friend or family member, please feel free to pass this podcast along to them. 
You can also find all the resources and things we talked about today at thecollegeinvestor.com, thecollegeinvestor.com. Just type in the title of this podcast right into the search bar and you'll find the article. You can also follow us on social media, give us your thoughts. We'd love to get to know you better. And if you're stuck in this situation, we would love to actually personally give you the resources to get out of this situation. Thanks so much again, and we'll talk to you again real soon.